Yo, what is going on ladies and gentlemen, Horcrux here and welcome to the channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showcasing you the build that got me to rank 11 on the leaderboards in PvP Lost Ark. So without further ado, let's get into it. Welcome back guys, and today's video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Nah, I'm just kidding, it's not, but you know, insert uh, sponsor here, wink wink, cough cough, uh, but for real, we're going to be breaking down a lot in this video, it doesn't matter if you are new to PvP, whether you've been doing this PvE grind forever, and you're tired of the vertical, vertical progression, and you just want to experience something different that Lost Ark has to offer, it doesn't matter if you're that type of player, whether you have moderate experience where you kind of bounce into and it also doesn't matter if you're a diehard fan because this build I'm gonna go over, this is not the Korea meta build, Grandmaster build that everyone is running. This is a little bit different and I've altered it to where if it's my play style, my soloistic play style, it is a very, very selfish build. And especially with the Glavier classes, the Death Blades, the Gunslinger is always wanting to ape you in the back lines. This build is gonna help you mitigate pretty much every sort of initiation that they have to offer. And it's gonna allow you to actually play your class and not have you rely on your teammates. All right, guys, so here we are in Trixium. I know you guys are going to be like, oh, my God, another Trixium Sork build. I've seen a Diamond Dozen. Well, this one's going to be a little bit different. So I'm just going to show you the stat allocation. And what we're going to do, I'm going to piece this video up. And I'm going to show you guys right now. Here, here's my bar. You guys can choose whatever morphs you want, right? If you are familiar with the Sorcerers and you know all the tripods and thereof and then the stat tunings. I mean, th this is all you. This is just quickly me showing you a brief snapshot of what we're going to be talking about so we are going to go in depth on each ability and why i've chosen the tripod layout the way i have so um to start off we are going to start with the stat points you always want to go max into swiftness because this reduces your cooldowns of literally everything domination this is going to increase your damage on cc opponents and then you'll take a value point for it is the typical build you would like to go again here's a snapshot of our bar and we're going to hop into the bar setup all right, so our first ability is Frost Call, and uh, don't worry about any of this, guys. Uh, if you are newer to PvP, uh, everything is standardized. You don't have to worry about being a certain level because you're going to have 340 skill points, I believe, to where you can allocate all of your points needed. Everyone has the same amount of skill points. Everyone's doing the same amount of damage. It doesn't matter what iron level you are. It doesn't matter what stitch you have. Everything is going to do the exact same thing unless you change your tripod setups, which is what we're going to be covering here. So, okay, so our Q ability is called Frost Call. So the tripod system you want to go up i don't see any variation in this this is what i've used from start to finish so you always want to go with chill because when it hits them it slows them and you can follow up with sub subsequent attacks unavoidable rule this changes it to a point cast ability to where you actually go off the channel and then you always want to go with enhanced strike this is level 10 because we really appreciate the cooldown this is our biggest catch ability so if you can catch another sort with this this is huge don't lead off with your vortex, which we will discuss here in just a moment. And one more thing to note, guys, if you are in PvP and you do not have your aspect ratio box checked, please do so. Just so it'll give you a wider field of view so you can actually see what's going on. Just for the sake of this video, I have it disabled just so you can actually see what's going on. But again, back to Frost Call. Typically, if you can catch a Sork or some other squishy that doesn't have super armors readily available, you want to leave a Frost Call and into a Lightning Vortex. That was pretty much almost a guarantee our CC and range stun for your enemies, for your friends to collapse on. And again, having the point click unavoidable, uh, unstable rule is an absolute must have. Our right, next build in the bar, we're just going to go through this in order, is going to be a Punishing Strike. So always go with Wide Angle, Unavoidable Fate. This again changes it into a point click ability, which you'll need in PvP. And then you won't go with final strike avoid magic amplification because when you actually use your class ultimate your ability we're just using it for teleportation we're not actually using it to increase the cast time on any of our abilities or increasing the damage thereof because quite frankly you need the mobility um next is a debatable skill i see a lot of sorts not opting for this one um this is squall so um always go with agi cast because this can be interrupt interrupted upon your cast animation and it's really frustrating when a Glavier or a Soul Fist hops on you and you're literally at the tail end of your cast animation and you can't get it off. So always go with Agi Cast, go with Whirlwind as well because this is what's going to give you the hard CC for 1.5 seconds and then I typically go with the level 10 Wiping Wind 
because it does increase the range quite substantially and you do not necessarily have to go to level 10 with this one you can go to level 8 and possibly upgrade your lightning vortex to level 10 which we'll go into later but this is an absolute must for me because again i play solo and it's really really hard well ranked as solo for everyone but i try to play with my team but my team really doesn't they do their own thing their own little world we're all in our own little world so i pick abilities that is going to best suit me and then if i can offer my team assist i will so that's why i'm opting for level 10 for all uh next is esoteric reaction I always go quick prep um you can potentially go inside i have seen some uh, backline sorks who will run pyre and also the increased range to esoteric reaction just so they can get those quick knock up and damage with the uh, esoteric reaction and a uh, pyre combo um that's entirely up to you um always go quick prep because you never know when you're able to get a cc on someone when you can actually turn that into a combo or a burst so next is going to be enhanced strike um the rest of these really don't make any sense i guess you could do final strike if you're really crit heavy which you're not going to be depending on your your stat tuning so just go with enhanced strike for the consistent damage for this one and then you'll want to go with stabilized crystal because this consolidates the three pulses into one pulse yeah it doesn't do as much damage as shockwave but you're going to get that damage off instantly and if they're not being juggled correct if your enemy is not being juggled correctly or they're able to space bar out of it, you're going to miss a lot of your burst if you don't have this tripod okay next is eye shower i really want to take a second and discuss this one in depth on why i use this ability and most other sorts do not so very first off um i do not go with agi cast the reason i do not go with agi cast is because i'm using tenacity i'll explain so I'll always go with chill because it's going to slow your opponents and then it this ability will happen in two different instances so you will cast it first and then the second one will actually hard cc them so um, the very first cast is just to slow them, slows their attacks, you know, yada yada, whatever. Especially when you're getting a, this is very, very good. Especially when your teammates are getting jumped on as well. This is very helpful. But this is the bread and butter of the build, I believe. You do not have a lot of super armors on the sorcerers. You have like one, maybe two. If you go with like rhyme arrow, um, your space bar counts as like a pseudo pseudo armor, and on also your your teleport or your blink kind of counts as a super armor as well. Because you're in that cast animation and you get some invulnerability frames there but tenacity is huge so during the skill use it grants you push immunity if you think you're going to get jumped nothing is more annoying than on the sorcerers you're right in the middle of your cast animation and then you you, you barely get like light attack staggered by you know whatever gunslinger or the uh the artillery is how he does his gatling gun he barely clips you with it and it stops whatever spell that you're casting and now it's on cooldown right tenacity allows you to think it gives you time to be like okay what spell am i going to use next um during this cast animation it's amazing because most backliners who are going to ape you are just going to stagger you into a knock up then a hard cc as you fall you know just d d depending on your skill bracket whether they can land their combos but tenacity kind of stops the initial <laughs> onslaught of their combo so if they jump you and you're in the middle of the cast animation i actually use this very defensively if i think i'm going to get jumped i'm going to cast it just so i can give myself time to think like okay what ability do i need to be using next should i space bar here should i dash away should i actually try to counter initiate so that's why i love this more so so much and this skill in general so most sorts will run pyre which is really good if you plan on playing backline but me I tried to play off to the side. I need all the solo help I can get. I do not rely on my teammates. So this ability is probably my most used and, and the most efficient. Probably my favorite skill in the entire Sorcerer's Kit. And then, of course, I go with Frost Fragment. Um, this is what's actually going to allow you to have the hard CC at the end. Now, you can potentially not go to level 10 with this one and make something else level 10. You know, for example, your Lightning Vortex increase, uh, you know, decreasing the cooldown on it where you'll get uh, a couple extra charges i mean uh, that's up to you and of course lightning vortex is our last ability but um this is just some food for thought um you can play around with this um how you see fit but i really do think chill with tenacity is such a great ability to have on your sorcerer's kit okay next is reverse gravity you can 
play around with this there's a couple different ways you can either do rift acceleration or a wide angle i much prefer the wide angle because i don't notice too much of a difference between the rift acceleration and this allows you to have a much wider area of denial if you're trying to peel your teammates and you don't necessarily want to get too close you know within realm of possibilities of getting counter initiate or counter jumped um i do go with wide angle because even though this is a 20 percent increase to your radius that's the radius so overall it's a 40 percent diameter you can use this very effectively to just bridge the distance between who's wanting to jump you in the back and then you would go with lava area this is a, a level 8 ability by the way we're not leveling this all the way up to level 10 so you go with lava area because of this does add an additional knock up in the air just so you can further extend whatever combos you have going on all right next we have is a uh, seraph hill uh, this is on our d so i always go a quick prep for this one because it is a very good tool depending on which morph you want to go with so the last morph you want to go with is obviously red hill but when it comes to the second tripod there is two that are very viable so the one i prefer to use is evolve hell because it allows you to extend your combos much easier than if you use additional explosion um i'll go ahead and explain so evolved hell when you cast it it actually does a slow rolling fire wave which you can technically stand inside of it and not be jumped on without the enemy without a you know a, a level two super armor it, it getting risk of getting knocked up or, or staggered so this keeps them in the air so they cannot space bar out of this while they're being carried away by these flames now if you go with the other tripod for example um this is really good for killing your teammates because it does close that gap more quickly and it does do a secondary knockup which is really interesting because you can cast it for the first knockup and then if your opponent's not really paying attention and then decide to jump on you it actually comes back and knocks them up anyway so it really depends on you know your play style whether you want to play with your teammates if you're trying to peel your teammates kind of playing like a pseudo support role go with additional explosion but if you're just playing solo like I, I am all the time I'm very selfish I'm going with evolved hell for sure and then last but not least is lightning vortex and this is kind of your bread and butter combo with cross calls and lightning vortex this is typically the combo you're going to use to try to catch whatever opponent you know from distance um go with paralyze obviously to get the 10 percent chance to cause electrocution which is the two second cc and pvp on whoever you hit with it and then always go with wide angle and just further increasing the radius of the aoe now some people are able to take points out of their skill tree and make this level 10 you know further decrease in the cooldown which i have played around with a lot i've actually taken points out of ice shower and i got rid of frost fragment which is the hard cc and just stick with tenacity and chill this utility alone is still really good and then you can get this potentially to level 10 decreasing the cooldown and then you also get an additional charge um, with overheat so um, that is entirely up to you and how you want to play alternatively if you wanted to adjust this build and uh, use pyre this is really really strong it's a very fast knockup cc if you want to use pyre in my opinion you would more than likely take off eye shower because again this is like a very selfish ability so you would take your tim your level 10 eye shower out replace it with a pyre and then i would always go with rift acceleration uh, flame area and then you'll want to go with the uh, firepower expansion just so that the pillar is formed as quick as possible just so you can get the quick knockups you can kill your teammates so um that's entirely up to you and what you want to do you don't play around with and there's all kinds of other builds now skills i would typically stay away from i tried to use an elegance touch do not use this piece of shit. You're, it's going to drain your magic is so fast like it, it's just laughable um i've seen some sorts and uh low masters use rhyme arrow i've not found a successful scenario to where this has benefited me and i personally find that the cast animation quite wonky it does have the same loadout as ice shower so you have chill and then you also have tenacity it grants you the push immunity so technically you could replace ice shower with this um if you really wanted to um, just kind of play around with the build and it will do a little bit more damage as well Okay guys, so that about does it for the build. I just want to thank you all for coming out and actually watching this. Uh, I had a really great success on the very first iteration of this build. It's very unpolished. If you want to see my original build on the Grandmaster Sork, you know, meta build, quote unquote, 
I'll have it in the link in the description also in the card in the corner, eh, right about now. But uh, before I peace out and play the clips to the end, guys, please like and sub. It's totally free. And if I start putting out content and you guys don't like that, just unsub. It's no big deal. And of course, Snapchat information is going to go off right during the middle of the outro. So with all that being said, guys, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. That 40% with like 30k resistances, that, that's like perfect if you can get that like 40k flat mitigation with like 30k resistances or even 25 i mean that that's the sweet spot you want to be in all right Let's see if i get any catches yeah we, we did the same thing me and the sort did the exact same move that was so funny he's gonna try to catch me 100 percent. i gotta be careful Oh, beautiful. Let's go. Big damage on this sword. I'm going to catch her right here. I'm going to pop my ult here because I can. Let's go, baby. Easy, easy fucking game. I don't know how I missed that. I don't know how I missed the hard CC. I'm going to you. Ooh, we clipped her too. That was beautiful. Bullshit, actually. You feel me? Feel me on me. Feel me. Good feel. Good feel. Good feel. Good feel. Kind of chill back here, actually. Ooh, yeah, we gotta chill back here in the the fucking boonies. Make sure we don't die. <laughs> Oh, what hit me there? No. I don't know what clipped me there. All right. Some lingering effect for sure. I don't know what that was. I outplayed that, dude. I outplayed that so fucking hard, to be honest. Is this sword dead yet? Yeah, Sorky's dead. I need to catch this guy right here. Let's see who I gotta catch. That should hit. Yeah, sure did. The Glavier's gonna jump me real quick. Oh, I didn't. Oh, dude, come on, get the electric cube. No, I am so fucked, actually. I am so absolutely fucked. God, this Sork, dude, is getting so lucky with her lightning vortexes. So lucky. I wish our, our Soul Fist would do Soul Fist things, to be honest. Not very Soul Fisty. Not, not fisting those souls, you know what I mean? It didn't get an electrocution until the last one away. Again, dude, this work is free reign. Dude, she didn't get electrocuted. Like every time I get hit with that stupid ass bubble, I get electrocuted. Hundred percent. Yeah, we get. Oh boy. Oh boy. We. About to take a lot of damage for that one. No. Oh, she died with her ult. That's fucking hilarious. Oh, no. See, I don't have any room to pressure the sword. I'm spending all my time kiting the, the DPS, dude. That's, that's the problem. I can't do anything with this sword. I, I have no help to do anything with her. Game almost over too, yeah. Ooh, we did get a big crit there though. That was huge. 
and get this CC here, he might be okay. We have to get a kill. We just got, I gotta keep him off teammates. Yo, good game, boys. Good game. Good game. Good game. Yeah, it's weird. We just got music for now. No sound effects from the game. More bugs. See, this glowy or shit right here means they cannot be CC'd right now. Uh, that's something you get from the bard. Still here in the back. Kill teammates if I can. Good catch. Go up here and blink, get an early, like, at least try to get some early, uh, charges. Fuck, dude. This guy should be dead, in theory. Oh. Now I'm playing like an actual sword. There we go. Oh, what? Gotcha, bitch. Oh, there we go. He should... their, their bard is doing really good. Like, exceptionally well. Outplayed, my dude. See, this is a hard bar. Yeah, see, this is like the only healing in the game right here. Trying to peel my teammates a little bit. There we go. I'm not getting caught in this DC. It's okay, though. Yeah, we, we gotta see what's going on with the sound after this, too. The game's just bugging out today. Uh, what do I want to do here? What do I want to do? Oh, yo, beautiful catch, man. Beautiful fucking catch. Beautiful, beautiful. I fucked it up, but beautiful. I get rid of her super armor. There we go. I don't think she has a blink. Yeah, she does. She's dead anyway, though. They're barred dead. Nice. Rip for them. Ooh, that's a good knockout. Uh, gonna hopefully follow up. Nope. Does anyone catch? Uh, hard CC or no? Ooh. Yeah, we're about to take amalgamation of damage. Uh. There we go. Please die, bitch. Oh, she didn't die. Fuck. Good knockout. We get hard CC here. We maybe burst. No. Dude, it's actually incredible how much damage they just don't take sometimes. Ooh, she gets out of it. Yeah, so, so, so this is a no-no range right now. This guy popped his ult, like, this is... You get by this shit, you're, like, deader than... Deader than Sin, or however, however you're fucking gonna say. Yeah, GG. Yeah, what's going on, Russian name? <laughs> Russian guy, what's up? I like his outfit.